Welcome to Kid Time at Golden Prairie Community Church. I'm Denise, and I'm back to talk to you more about the Bible today. Remember what we've told before? We talked about how the Bible is the story of the earth from the beginning to the end. We've talked about how it was written between about 1400 BC all the way to about 100 AD with Jesus being that break in the middle at about zero and how it is a story of God and how he wants to relate to us and how he wants to be friends with us and how Jesus fits into all of that. And we've talked about how it was written in different languages in English and we also talked about how we know now that what we had now is the same as what they had from way back then. But just because we have the same writings, does that necessarily mean it is true? And that's a really important thing. If we're going to trust God for our lives, if we're going to follow him, if we're going to trust him for our eternity, we have to know that what we're believing is something that is true. So how do we know if something is true? Can we test it with the scientific method? Well, what's the scientific method? The scientific method is you come up with a theory about something. Okay, my theory is when I drop this pan, it's going to fall down. It's not going to float in the air. And then you design an experiment. Well, I'm going to drop it onto the table. And then you do the experiment and it falls down. And then you do it a whole bunch of times and you check to see, is your theory right or wrong? And after you do it a whole bunch of times, you can say, yep, yeah, this pen is going to fall onto the table every time I drop it because gravity works. It's not going to float in the air. That's your scientific method. Can you use the scientific method to test the Bible? No, you can't. Actually, you can't test the, use the scientific method to test anything in the past because you can't go back and redo it. For example, what if you told me I had Cheerios for breakfast two weeks ago on Tuesday morning? Can I use the scientific method to test that out? Can I go back into your house two weeks ago on Tuesday morning and watch you eat breakfast? And can I do it a whole bunch of times? No, of course I can't. Well, how do I know that what you're telling me is true? Well, first off, there's many different ways we can tell. The first off is eyewitness testimony. I can ask you, did you have Cheerios for breakfast two weeks ago on Tuesday morning? And you say, yes, I did. And I say, how do you know that for sure? And you say, well, because it was weird hair day at school and I was running late because I was doing my hair weird and I didn't have a chance to finish my, my cereal. And so I took my bowl that had some extra milk and a little bit of cereal left in it and I dumped it in the sink and mom wasn't happy with me because she had to clean the soggy Cheerios out of the sink. Pretty good reason why you remembered that you had Cheerios for breakfast on, Wednesday mor on Tuesday morning, two weeks ago. What else can I do? Well, I can check other eyewitnesses. I can go talk to your mom. Does he have, did he have Cheerios two weeks ago, Tuesday morning? Yeah, I hated cleaning out the sink. I remember that. Okay, what about your brothers and sisters? Uh-huh, he got in trouble because they saw it too. Multiple eyewitness testimony that you had Cheerios for breakfast two weeks ago on Tuesday morning. What else can we do? Well... We can look for physical evidence. What kind of physical evidence? Well, I can go into your house and open the cupboard where the cereals are kept. Are there Cheerios there? Well, if there's Cheerios there, it doesn't prove that you ate Cheerios two weeks ago on Tuesday morning, but it's more evidence that you could have. Now, if there were no Cheerios there, would that say for sure you didn't? No, because maybe you finished the box and nobody's bought any more since. But the fact that there is there, there's some evidence. And if you take it out and open it up and there's Cheerios missing, even more evidence. Doesn't prove it, but it adds to the case. What if we went to your sink and we took apart the sink and in the trap at the bottom we looked to see if there's soggy Cheerios? Maybe yes, maybe no. If there's not, it doesn't prove that you didn't dump the cereal in the sink. But if there's something there, maybe you did. All of these bits of evidence are adding up to tell us that, yeah, you probably had cereal for breakfast two weeks ago on Tuesday morning. 
Can we use the same kind of thing for the Bible? Absolutely. But we'll have to do that another time. In the meantime, why don't you read some of the Bible yourself? See what you think. <laughs> <laughs>